Hi everyone, it's Kyle, and I'm going to be going over some integration by inspection practice. And what I mean by inspection, I just mean looking at an integral and being able to compute it uh, in your head relatively quickly. And I'll show you uh, the steps that I take in order to make this process you know, go fast. So when I look at this integral, the integral of x squared plus 1 to the 7th times 2x dx, I immediately see u to the 7th du. Okay, and I know a lot of you might be asking, like, how did you see that? And I will explain that right here. Notice that you have an x squared plus 1 in this parentheses, and its derivative, so if you take the derivative, you would get 2x dx, right? So the derivative of x squared plus 1 is equal to 2x, right? And since that's the case, we could use a u substitution. So if you want to use a u substitution, you would let u equal x squared plus 1, which means du dx is equal to 2x, which means du is equal to 2x dx, right? So look, I have that. I have this u. Uh, x, this u is x squared plus 1. It's raised to the seventh power. And I also have the du as 2x dx up there. So it's perfectly set up to integrate uh, quickly by a u substitution. Right? So again, we had u right here, u to the seventh du. And that's a pretty simple integral. That just becomes u to the eighth over 8. That becomes x squared plus 1 to the eighth over 8. And of course, if you ever want to check your answer, you just have to take the derivative of the result you got. So if I want to check x squared plus 1 to the 8 over 8, I just take its derivative. So the derivative of x squared plus 1 to the 8 over 8. That will equal 8 times x squared plus 1. Remember, the 8 comes from the power rule because you bring it down. And now, using the power rule, you also have to minus the exponent by 1, so it becomes 7 divided by 8. And don't forget, you also have to use the chain rule because the stuff on the parentheses depends on x. So the derivative of the inside is 2x, right? And the 8s will cancel, and you're left with x squared plus 1 to the 7th times 2x. Right? Which is exactly the original integral we were solving for. So, yep, we were right in our, um, I guess, quick computation by, by assuming a u substitution, where we had u as x squared plus 1 and our du as 2x dx. So, uh, let's do another example just to illustrate the point. And this is next, uh, sorry, this next example will involve a trig function. So, let's look at the integral of cosine of x to the fourth times 4x cubed dx, right? Again, I notice uh, this integral immediately in my head becomes the integral of cosine of u du, right? And I can see that because notice we have this x to the fourth here, and the derivative of x to the fourth is just going to equal 4x cube, which, what do you know, we have right there. So again, we can use a u substitution where u is equal to x to the fourth, and our du is equal to 4x cubed dx. What do you know? We have that perfectly right there. So that's how I was able to immediately say, look, we have the integral of cosine of u du. The integral of cosine would just be the integral, well, sorry, not the integral, it would just be sine of u, u in this case being x to the fourth. And I think I forgot to mention that I should have added a, uh, a plus c on, on this one up here. Yeah, I should have had a plus c on that because there could have been some constants hanging out. So my answer would should have a plus c. Sorry about that. People who do calculus would probably be yelling at me right now. So if sine of x to the fourth plus c would be my answer. If you want to check, we could always just take the derivative of sine x to the fourth, okay? So we have to take, we have to use a chain rule here. So the derivative of the outside would be cosine x to the fourth. So we keep the inside the same. 
take the derivative of the outside function. And now we look at and now we multiply it by the uh, derivative of the inside function. And the derivative of x to the fourth, of course, is just four x cubed. What do you know? That is exactly the integrand we were looking at up above. So yep, the uh, sine x to the fourth plus c is our answer. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful, and we'll go through a couple of more examples next time.